Are you really seriously thinking that the first tomato is the one that tastes like disappointment? I don't know. Now I'm nervous! <laughs> so I know a lot of people who swear that their homegrown tomatoes always taste so much better than store-bought tomatoes. Store-bought tomatoes taste like disappointment. Like they'll even turn their nose up at the store-bought stuff. This is a prime example of why I don't eat tomatoes the rest of the year. But in today's video, we're gonna see if store-bought tomatoes taste better than the homegrown stuff. All right, guys, let's go buy tomatoes. Let's do it. We also have to get a blindfold. Blindfold. Here we are. Yeah, vegetables. All right, do you guys wanna do the honors of picking? Sure. All right, guys, only select the best. I got the Romas. Awesome. I'm looking for ones that are not bruised, like this bad boy. Yeah, just your uh, your perfect store tomato, right? They feel like kind of plasticky. <laughs> the texture doesn't feel, it's not what I'm used to. Definitely not. If it's pretty, it's tasty. <laughs> They're selling a tomato with some serious fungal issues in the store. You're just hating on these store-bought tomatoes. <laughs> Mine have fungal issues too, but I'm not trying to sell them. Now we gotta go find a blindfold. Awesome. Well said, thanks. What's in the bag? Oh. We got a couple of different last bit of tomatoes that we have growing in our garden. So we're gonna, what are we gonna do with them? I came armed with these oh. bad boys. <laughs> look how perfect and beautiful they actually <laughs> look. Smell it, smell it, smell it. Do you smell it? The smelly smell that smells. Yeah, these I'm hoping, well, even though they might be a little bit ugly, I'm still hoping that the taste is gonna bring, we're gonna bring, represent. What varieties do you have there? So this is a pork chop tomato. This is the Dr. Witchy. The Black Beauty, which again, it's kind of small. I had a really good one growing, but it's gone now. I'm not worried about the ugliness because we have these. Oh, perfect. So no, nobody's gonna be able to tell sight. This is gonna be a purely yeah. sensory experience. Yeah, you gotta, it's, a, it's kinda, it must be like wine tasting. Do you have to like, you know, waft it? I have this tomato for you. A store tomato? <laughs> no, is this, it says locally grown. Maybe it's not out. I got it at Walmart. But it's great. But I'm gonna guess, <laughs> Jess, you have often said that tomatoes that are bought from the store taste like disappointment. Why is that? Well, store-bought tomatoes are actually like bred hybrids in order to stand shipping, traveling long distances, and longer shelf lives. So flavor just kind of falls to the wayside. Homegrown tomatoes, we get to focus more on flavor. We get to pick them when they're ripe. And they just have so much more to offer in the flavor department. Store-bought tomatoes, they really do taste like disappointment. When you eat it, it's, it's like this. You eat it and you go, oh. <laughs> Why are people preserving certain heirloom varieties? Well, the thing with heirlooms is that they weren't bred for shelf life and to be shipped and to stand, you know, handling and all of that stuff. And, and so you get this wide var variety of flavors that just, like, they get lost in the hybridization for modern day shipping. And we get just super acidic, low acid. All the different colors have so many different flavors. Uh, the sugars are often more uh, potent in the homegrown tomatoes because the watering can be more controlled. It's not like just mass irrigation constantly to pump out production. It's just a completely different growing process and you get to experience what a tomato is really supposed to taste like. Oh. Okay, Katie, are okay. you nervous about this? I don't know. I am a little nervous. All right. Okay, Katie, grab your first one. There you go, got it. Okay, try the second one. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Second one's a store box. <laughs> Yay! Go! Woo! 
<laughs> so yes, that is disappointment. Awesome. <laughs> Any other takers? Anyone else try? <laughs> Come on, Natalie, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, are you nervous, Natalie? <laughs> no, I'm so confident. <laughs> All right, let's see what you pick. Okay, these are my options. Just pick one of the two. It doesn't matter. <laughs> How's it feeling? Does that feel good? Good mouth feel to it? <laughs> All right, try your other one. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goggles, I'm just like. Which one was it, one or two, one or two? I would say that one definitely had a better, like, sugar ratio. So, but number two wasn't the worst thing I've ever tasted. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess one. You're gonna guess one is the real or store bought? The real? Open your eyes. This was number one. Wow, store bought. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, I failed, I so failed. <laughs> What's your name? Makai. Makai, all right, Makai. Get your goggles on. <laughs> all right, there you go, Makai. All right, which one was it? I think it was the second one. Second one was the store bot? Yeah. Yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah. All right, woo! Way to go, Makai! Zach, Zach, Zach! All right. Now you've been a gardener most of your life, right? Right, yeah. yeah. So you're, you're confident in your tomato testing abilities, right? We'll see. He's like trying to pee! <laughs> All right. Wait, 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 let me spin it around on you. I don't want you cheating. I don't want you cheating. Come on. All right, give it a shot. Mm. It had good juice, but not a whole lot of flavor. All right, all right, here's the second one. That one was homegrown, the first one was. Hey! Where are you going, Jeremiah, why aren't you doing this taste test? Please explain. Uh, because I don't eat tomatoes. <laughs> so they both taste like disappointment. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's do it. Are you, your farmer? You can say that. You've been around agriculture most of your life? Yep. Do you feel like you can do this? You got this no problem, right? Sure. <laughs> you feel that confident? You look. Oh. All right. Here we go. Give it a taste. Right in front of you. Boom. Don't forget where your mouth is. <laughs> now, which tomato tastes like disappointment? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Natalie, how are you feeling about all this? Really bad. <laughs> all right, Kaylee, yeah, come on. Let's see, she knows her own. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, she knows about the tomatoes. Yeah. She doesn't all know. All right, if you don't know your own tomatoes. I quit. Are you nervous about this? A little bit. No problem. No problem. If you give me both of the store bought, I'm <laughs> That is such a good idea. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Okay, you're right. Oh, oh, oh. Ready, ready, ready. Okay. All right, go for it. Okay. Pick up one piece. Oh, wow, she's oh, smelling. Oh, wow. I can't touch, so I'm like. There you go, you got it. I, I don't know. I think that's short. That's that's home. Yeah, you got it right. You know your own tomatoes. All right. Black beauty. She even got 
the, the breed down. That's pretty good. I'm a little nervous. I feel like I've talked a lot of smack about to stir hot tomatoes. So here we are. So this would be some one. real comeuppance if this if this went down this way, huh? It could. It didn't get in badly. And I'm about to stand up and talk in front of everybody this afternoon about the value of heirlooms. So like. Great. All right, so we have them too. All right, everybody see this? Okay. So we clearly know which one is which. Jess does not. All right, Jess, grab your first tomato. This is the first one? Yep, just pick pick one of them. Okay. There you go, you got it, you got it. <laughs> All right, give it a taste. You don't have to say it yet, you don't have to say it yet. Okay. Where? This? Yep, that is your second tomato. Okay. Second one's homegrown. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Say that again. The second one is homegrown. So you're saying the first tomato tastes like disappointment? Are you really seriously thinking that the first tomato is the one that tastes like disappointment? I don't know. Now I'm nervous! <laughs> Okay, let me think about this, okay? All right. Wait, because what, I want to make tell, tell me your thought process. I want, okay, I want, let me think about the thought right. process. Because the first one might not taste like disappointment. It may have just been a yellow tomato. Because it was really mild. And the second one is a lot more acidic. But the texture was still really good. So if that was a store-bought tomato, I would say I'm impressed that the texture was that good. Because it's hard to tell because I know the store-bought tomato is a red tomato. And I know that two of the homegrown tomatoes were yellow or orange. And so my guess was if the first tomato was not a store-bought tomato, then it was the pineapple pig tomato that was yellow. So okay. that's kind of like a hard thing to say. Okay, okay. All right, then let's see. This was the first tomato. Okay. okay. So it, the first one was the store-bought tomato? The first one okay. was the store So your reputation remains intact. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Second one was, was yellow. Really, that was like, impressive. This is so mild that a yellow tomato was like way more flavorful than it. That's why it messed me up because it's like so mild <laughs> that I thought, well, maybe it was the yellow tomato because you know yellow tomatoes are really low acid. So I don't have flavor. All right, nice job, way to go. <laughs> All right, if we're sports commentators and we're at the end of the big game, what's your analysis there, Jess? <laughs> it was a close call. <laughs> Not really. I did get nervous. I knew instantly, but I got really nervous. I was like, I just don't, I don't know. I don't want to get it wrong. I heard somebody say she's got a lot of t-shirts riding on this. <laughs> now available to own. It's such a great contrast and so many people are able to immediately say, oh, that's definitely, that's definitely the one. Yeah. It's a huge, huge difference. Well, I mean, and you think about this conference, right, where you've got just thousands of people wandering around who are focused on growing their own food. And it's kind of cool to see that, yeah, no, they're really... It matters, and that that drive that they have to grow their own food matters. Yeah. And it manifests itself in what it tastes like. Absolutely. And, you know, one of the things that I love about growing heirlooms and home gardening is that I get to experience something that otherwise I wouldn't get to experience. Because when it's hot and the work is hard and you're sick of weeding and you're battling pests and you're trying to do the garden, and then you see, like, tomatoes on sale for 99 cents a pound at the grocery store, it's like, why am I doing this exactly? And taste tests like that are a huge reminder of exactly why it's worth it to grow your own food. Awesome. Well, let's go get back to the conference. Yes. <laughs>